Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spoonfork, and I am here showing off a little redstone invention of mine. So basically, what this redstone invention is, is it's a comparator pulse extender. So sometimes when you're making a redstone project and you create like a monostable circuit, which is basically something that creates a quick pulse, just like this. That's not an example of a monostable circuit, by the way. But you know, you create uh, something with pistons or something that causes it to create a short pulse. Sometimes you need it to be lengthened again to create, I don't know, some system that opens a door for a certain amount of time or lets a certain amount of items flow into a hopper for a short amount of time or flow into a chest from a hopper. So that's what these pulse extenders are for. So I was just sort of screwing around because I was working on a redstone project where I needed a pulse extender and I found a couple designs that used comparators that are incredibly compact as you can see by these two like this one just has a 3 by one by 2 footprint um, and this one also has a 3 by one by 2 footprint but this one is flat on the ground whereas this one is vertical and I like to have stuff vertical because it takes up very little space uh, but anyways um, so the, actually no, this has, uh, three by one by three. Yeah. But anyways, um, so I was just sort of playing around with comparators and I noticed that something that happens with comparators when they are looped back into themselves like this. Oh, no, I did it wrong. <laughs> uh, excuse me, like this is that they sort of fade out as you can see there. Now, I realize that if you have a repeater connected to that, since it doesn't pay attention to um, pulse strength, it just stays lit in that time. So this one is another example of what actually works as a pulse extender right here on the ground. Um, so I just changed that up a little bit vertically. Um, so here, I'll just quickly build one. It's a piece of sandstone like this in a sort of triangle shape with a comparator in the middle and then redstone on all sides um, and then basically you can go like this and then it slowly fades out so let me go like this so you can see the torch so that's basically how it works and basically what's happening is the redstone is going through here and then it's going into this comparator it's coming out here then it goes, it loops around and then it goes back into the comparator but since it's a little further away it's a lower strength and it just keeps looping around getting in a lower lower strength until it finally goes out so and this would not work with a repeater because it doesn't pay, it doesn't pay, it doesn't pay attention to signal strength so as you can see it would just stay lit but that is where the advantage of the comparator comes into play now this one is the same thing just with two of them so it lasts for quite a bit longer so this one is ad advantageous if you have very little area but need something to stay on for a little longer um, so yeah it's very simple to build as well just two comparators facing opposite direction and then some redstone Oops didn't want to do that so yeah it's really quite cool and I'm pretty happy with these two designs I don't think I've seen anybody else show these designs but I don't know I to my knowledge I've come up with this idea so and then also if you like the reason I was creating it is so that I wanted a certain amount of items to flow into the chest and here let's just grab a stack of stone um, so here you can see this torch is making it so that the stone does not flow into the chest. Then if we do a short pulse here, exactly three items go into the chest. So this one does three, and I'm actually not sure how many go into this one, but I'm assuming it's six, just from logic. Oh wait, I don't even have anything in there. I am smart. Alright, here we go. 
So. What? Oh. What the heck? <laughs> what am I doing? Four. <laughs> yeah, four. Okay. That's interesting to know. So it's not even that much longer. Um, so yeah, I think that's basically it for the tutorial. A fairly simple idea, but it can be applicable in many places. Um, here, wait, let me just place this back again so you guys can see it. So yeah, it's, it's really cool, useful if you ever need to have something that is a pulse extender. Oh yeah, a couple more things. With this one, um, it's also cool because it's modular. So if we go like this and then have a repeater in between the two of them, this just goes like this. So then you can have multiple ones of them here end to end. And then if we take a look at the torch here, now it is twice as long. And that's actually quite a long time for stuff to go through. And this this one is, again, a vertical design. That was what I was looking for. Um, and then also there is a design that can go like this. And it actually zigzags back and forth. Let me quickly build this here. Okay, here we go. Almost there. Whoops. The heck. Here we only do. And there we go. <laughs> All right. And then just place the redstone on top. So this is basically a super pulse extender, and when in this form, I find that this one can be quite a bit more comp uh, compact than that one, even though normally it is a little bit more bulky like this. That's insanely compact, and then it just does this amazing like slow fade out there. So that's a really long delay. It's just like longer than most people would need. So yeah, it's pretty beautiful. So yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. As you can see, I'm pretty excited about this design. I think it'll be quite useful for any of my future designs. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.